So I haven't made a video like this in a while where I just sit down and talk about numbers, but I do feel like that's something you guys like seeing. Do want to be transparent with the way we shared the brand experience, the growth experience and everything. Um, so I figured I would talk about a specific drop date that we did and yeah, just talk numbers and the specifics of the things that helped us get to that revenue number in one day. This was fully organic. We didn't spend a dollar in ads for this drop. I do feel like the, t the title of this video, the thumbnail, the way I'm going to go about it will bring in some views, some traffic. So if you're new here, welcome to the channel. I've been posting videos here for roughly five years, which is crazy. About e-commerce, lifestyle, vlogs, a bunch of cool things. And now I have a clothing brand called Thursday. The way we want to go about this brand is definitely not like the traditional brand that just runs ads and throws on a little Instagram post and runs traffic to it. We definitely see this brand as being something more like a lifestyle. Um, and last year, the buildup of what Thursday was last year to what it became this year has been very lifestyle driven. About so yeah, to summarize how we went about it was we got the pieces of certain influencers. They made some TikToks. They posted it. One of the things that has helped us a lot as a brand has been honestly that the people like the product. People see the hoodie on other people and ask where it's from. Um, so it's not really a hard sell. Like it's not very hard to get people to buy it and pay the price tag for it. Um, if we had a product that people didn't like off the bat it would be very hard to do this. But I think just being able to place these hoodies on influencers, have them make TikToks, go about their days, and people just ask where it's from has really helped us grow exponentially. Um, on our first year with barely any dollars spent on marketing, most of it was just organic, word of mouth. Um, and yeah, so I'll throw some clips of the campaign here. Pretty much what we did was we reached out to two friends in LA, um, asked them if they wanted to shoot the hoodies. We wanted to do some Pinterest vibey, hills, palm tree type of aesthetic um, in a nice house. Thanks to Mikey. Mikey lent us his house to go and shoot for a day. Um, and yeah, we were there for about two hours, shot some cool content. I'll throw some clips right here of the content. And then we were like, you know what? How do we make this feel more, this announcement feel more like real life things as, a, as opposed to just posting the pictures of the shoot. That's when we had the idea to go to FedEx and print like flyers of the hoodies and the pictures and put them on a wall in LA. Um, and that's what we did. We just put them on a wall. Then Piero got a picture of me sticking them on the wall and posted it on Instagram. People loved it. So yeah, we had the hype. Obviously, before every drop, you're always nervous. To this day, every single drop that we have, it's like you don't know where it's going to go. Um, mainly so because it's so organic that you see the feedback people give you online, but you don't really know if they're going to translate into customers. Um, so yeah, that, that happened. We did that campaign, gathered on a few influencers, just let them do their thing. We don't really tell influencers to do anything with them. They just like the hoodie so much that they make content with it. And when people ask where it's from, they reply with Thursday. So we did that. We, we had a little light campaign. We tried going viral on TikTok. It didn't work. So all we had was the influencers wearing it and the campaign that we did. I left to Mexico for the family trip. And up until we were missing shooting the cream and red hoodie. And we shot that 20 minutes before going live. So Piero shot that in LA while I was setting up the attentive campaigns in Mexico. And yeah, we dropped, we went crazy. Um, I think that may be the biggest brand day drop that I had up until that date. Um, I think before that I had done like 19 or 20K back in 2020 um, on a brand drop. This is not counting drop shipping things, it's just like actual brand things. So I think that was the biggest brand drop date I had had up until April, May. Um, and yeah, honestly, it's crazy though. The funny thing about it is that even when that happened and, and it went, uh, we were shooting for 30K that day, honestly. We wanted a full sellout quick first day. It took a few days to sell out. So when we didn't fully sell out first day, um, weirdly enough, we were kind of like not mad or sad or angry, but we were just like not so excited about it, which makes you realize that your like the levels and things you aspire for always get bigger and even if it's like i'm sure when we're shooting for a 200k day which is something we're going for this year um if we do like 120k 100k as crazy as it sounds if you go under your expectations you're never gonna feel accomplished so it's it's a crazy thing to put into perspective like your goals always get higher like if you would have told me 2017 2018 um when i when i first started that a brand a clothing brand which is so hard to get off the ground We'll do those numbers in one day. I've been extremely excited about it. And now this year, it's like, you know, it's expected. It's what you think 
the brand should be doing. So yeah, with that being said, I, I think it's cool to be sharing insights and build this brand in public for you guys as much as we can. Obviously, there's things that we'll keep private. Um, but it's if it's things like in general, like campaigns and ways to go about marketing and softwares and all the things that we do um, and things that have helped us get to this point, we'll be so clear and open. And we like if you guys want to start a clothing brand as well, like we'll, we're more than happy to help out and, and tell you things that have slowed us down, affect us, and things that you guys can avoid to save some money, obviously. So we got this, this little robot guy back in town. One really cool thing that happened this year is George Armani, I should probably take better care of this letter, um, sent me a custom handwritten letter along with a, their new cologne parfum how you would say it in French. And that's, this is like insane to me once again. Like you would have told me this a few years back that I'd have brands send me products. I wouldn't believe it. So very thankful and excited for this. So you've sent me these two this year. Um, 2023, I definitely want to go even crazier on luxury brand deals, brands that I actually enjoy and like. Um, and we have the Thursday card holder to match the vibe. So shout out Giorgio Armani for showing love. It means a lot, truly. Handwritten letter like what? That package actually came randomly. I had a brand deal with them back in May for this one. Um, and yeah, that, that was it. And then they came back a few weeks ago and sent this one over. Um, it smells great. This is not paid by the way. They just pre-product and letter this one specifically got home and opened the mail to a handwritten letter with my name which is crazy what and then this so thank you George Armani means a lot truthfully it's like little things to show you progress in life so very excited for that well yeah um it's been a it's been an interesting year it's been a year of a lot of highs a lot of lows Probably the lowest lows I've had to experience in terms of life in general. Um, it was just very, I don't even know how to describe it. A lot of things happened, mainly on the business side of things, but also on the personal side of things. It was just a very intense year. A lot of highs because we had the brand and we had some beautiful drop dates and product and we were very proud of what we've built and what we're building for 2023, which is going to be like, I think 2023 and 2023 people will know about Thursday on a global scale. Like it's going to be a huge brand. It's going to be a big brand. Um, the things that we're working on right now, all the samples that we have, it, it's going to be big. Um, but it, it also, when you move to a new city and, and you're building something huge and you're kind of like, starting fresh because although it's like the same concepts and everything i had a brand that as i've told you guys ran from 2020 up until this point but right now it's truly not in my priorities like it's a brand that kind of just got placed on the back burner and it gets a, a sale here and there but it's not really like it's not really there um and just focus on thursday full time move to a new city kind of left it all behind for it and yeah it, it had it has it's great days as I'm sure you guys have seen on Instagram and the few videos that I posted, but there's also the days that you guys don't see where just things don't seem to go your way. Um, plus a whole lot of things. So when you see business and you see people posting online and revenue numbers and all these things, if they're being legit and they're not scammers, um, business is hard and it comes with a whole lot of things that you don't foresee coming a lot of times. A lot, most of the time things don't go your way. When it rains, it pours. When something bad happens, a hundred of the things bad happen in the same week, month, or quarter. So just be ready for it. And if it's something that you really want to do, like at the end of the day, Thursday's not huge yet. But once it is, and once we reap those benefits of everything we put into like work this year, all the seeds we planted, um, it's going to be worth it. Obviously, it already is. It feels extremely rewarding to own a brand that people seem to just love, um, us included. So just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, let me show you guys some samples of things we're working for 2023, which we're extremely excited. 
So, first one, for the girls, we're finally dropping a girls exclusive product. Um, this is the Fly To Me Baby T. This is a sample, there's a few things that we already got fixed up and changed, but this is gonna be a winner for sure. It's gonna go crazy. Very excited for this one. This is part of the airline's drop, so that's why the Fly To Me concept is there, which should happen in about a month happen in a month or two then we have another sample right here and the airlines is it's a zip up um, originally airlines is supposed to be a hoodie so we don't know if this is ever gonna make it um but it is french terry super heavy way heavier than anything we've ever dropped before uh, about 30 percent heavier than the hoodies we currently have in the market so very excited for this ykk zippers you know the quality always got to be there so we're also coming through with the briefs as you guys can see, there's a little pattern here that you can feel. It's a Thursday pattern. I don't know if you guys can see it there, but we have the Thursday all around. And extremely excited for this. This is all I've been wearing for the past few days. And that pattern there, that detail of the pattern just drives me crazy, to be honest. Like, it's it's so beautiful the way they executed this. So This is honestly one of my favorite things that we have in production right now. We have four totes just full of things here one two th three there's one back there and four so I do be using Thursday clearly and we have this beautiful 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 little Thursday artwork that I got for my birthday my favorite samples probably my favorite sample right now is the official Thursday essential zip so extremely heavy as I said wacky K zipper and then the back it's the triple Thursday. So it's a YKK zipper. If you know about zippers, <laughs> um, you know YKK zippers are some of the best just because they get better over time. Um, they don't get like rusty and hard. They just literally get smoother. Obviously a nice little detail. We have a line here, double lining. So it's just beautiful. And then the fabric, we have some beautiful Terry. I do want to have a little vlogging moment in this video uh, for nostalgic purposes. So I say, let's just go buy some boba. Just to go on a car ride and buy something to drink. So I do love this car so much. Um, obviously, as you guys know, if you've been watching this for a while, I had a I had a BMW before this, um, and driving this car is honestly the funnest thing I've driven up until this point. Um, I know there's obviously better cars, funner cars will get there, but as of now, the Tesla that I have right now, just it's like a go kart. I just feel like you know I plug it in. I don't have to worry about gas stations, which it's not that big of a deal, but you know, it's, it's just nice unplugging in the morning and just go-kart racing, like, it's quite fun. So yeah, that's, that's what we've been up to. Um, these past few days have just been, for the past few days, I mean like two months, um, just building everything perfectly for 2023. We definitely wanna make sure 2023 is the most ridiculously insane profitable huge year of all time we want to be reinvesting or, or making our things as quickly as possible so you know going for the one day sellout selling off first day or first week is ideal just so you can take the funds reinvest because as like one of the things about clothing is things are expensive to manufacture obviously if you're selling at a good price point which i think we are you do see the profits obviously all of that gets reinvested all over again so the faster we're able to get our funds back, our capital back, the faster we're able to grow. Um, so that was a bottleneck in 2022, which we're, we're already doing summer. Like summers are already already in designing, spring is already in production. Um, so we kind of took a step back for the past last two months of 2022. Instead of rushing a Black Friday drop and doing things rushed, we're like, you know what? Fuck that, let's get 2023 right. Um, and have Black Friday 2023 23 makeup for 2022 and 
every year coming forward for the rest of eternity. <laughs> This right here is one of the greatest albums of all time. So, you guys should check it out. Wait, we find out the video? It's like never that. Is this looking 